everyone, and welcome back to my home here in Denver with all my plants. Uh, I'm just going to get right to it. We have a lot of plant work to do that I've been putting off, so... Ooh. If you had to guess what some of that work that I've been putting off with houseplants has been, I bet if you've been watching my videos, you would say you forgot to water some of your plants. Yes. Well, yes, I have, but they were the plants up here. They're my philodendron, my Hartley philodendron, heteracium, and my uh, neon green pothos. I was a little bit upset by the way that these ones handled the lack of water. Uh, fact is, is that usually, you know, philodendron and pothos, epiprenum, are really good about, you know, dealing with water if they don't get it, at least that's what I wanted to think. Um, I went, I think, two weeks, a week and a half without watering these guys. The philodendron, the Brazil, the neon green ones, uh, regular, they all went perfectly well. They still look super happy and healthy. However, the award for uh, the one who does not do well was this guy right here, my neon pothos. That darn thing started wilting up, throwing a fit, and I was kind of irritated by it as well. All of its leaves got all crinkly and look kind of weird, but I guarantee you by the time that I wake up tomorrow, it'll have bounced back and then it would have just turned into a crying fest with this neon green pothos. Now, now, I don't mean to knock on it because it is a beautiful plant and I should have watered it. It's all my, I'm just looking for excuses basically, guys. Uh, and basically, I was just kind of disappointed with it. Yeah, I went a week and a half and there were times, like a million times over the last couple of days, where I was just sitting on my couch and watching TV and really doing nothing where I could have just got up and watered it. So I think I'm just making excuses for myself really is what it comes down to. Uh, but I thought that I could also use this opportunity not only to do some plant care with you guys, but also to kind of, you know, talk with y'all more about things, life and such. Uh, a lot of you folks were who, who don't know uh, me from like prior videos had just stumbled upon my channel were asking me about um, certain things. Uh, and you had some really nice comments and I really appreciate that, which are really kind. You guys are like, oh, you have such a nice voice. Um, and I wanted to let you guys know, if you didn't know, if you're not from the Denver, Colorado area, uh, I used to be a TV reporter for 17 years, 13 of which were here in uh, Denver. I was an on-air reporter, uh, a couple stations here in town, and did a lot of work with them. Uh, my last two years on TV, I was a morning reporter, uh, one of the stations here in town, and I did a lot of consumer-related stories. So, yes, thank you for the kind comments about my voice. <laughs> it is a uh, TV news, I guess, mix in with my genetics, which would be half Puerto Rican and half Polish. So if you put that together with a career in TV news, I guess that's what happens. <laughs> As I give these guys some more water, um, also some nice comments that you guys had were about how uh, these videos look and that you really like them. You like the way that they move along, that they're edited well. That's because not only was I a TV reporter, uh, but I also shot and edited my own stories. So I was constantly doing all that work by myself and um, now I do that full time. Uh, I, well, I was doing it full time, I guess, as a reporter, because that would make sense. Uh, but now I'm a uh, content creator and I do all sorts of different kinds of uh, uh, production work. And I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. Uh, I taught myself a lot of neat kind of editing techniques and uh, video production skills and so forth. So I've actually, believe it or not, this is very odd and random. And I don't know how many other plant YouTubers can say this, but I have 12 Emmy Awards. Yeah, I won 12 Emmy Awards for my writing, my editing, my videography, storytelling, and all that stuff during my career. I think the first time I won one was in 2010. So while I've won 10 or 12, I've given 10 of them away. Uh, so I only have two left now. And uh, I use them uh, both to hold air plants. They are my air plant holders now. So. It's a good use for them because otherwise they just collect dust, right? Uh, so we've got all of these done. Oh, except for that one in the corner up there, the trouble one. We're gonna move this around 
to get a better vantage point of it. I'll tell you, for this literally only taking about like, I don't know, 60 seconds to do, I really did have no reason to complain at these plants for not handling the lack of water well. I mean, after all, my, my heat and uh, air unit are pushing out this way from that wall over here so these plants are drying out uh yeah so i just need to i need to calm down this takes like 60 seconds to do and i was just being lazy basically uh this past weekend and i wanted to get this done because we're getting some crazy weather here in colorado it's supposed to uh snow possibly five to ten inches is what they were saying uh five to ten inches starting tonight and then uh, into tomorrow. So yeah, the nice thing too about what I do now is that I get to work 100% from home. So uh, in a past life, like a year ago, tomorrow morning at 2 a.m., I would have had to be out in the snow telling people that it's snowing. Yeah, did a lot of those. They were fun uh, doing the weather stuff, but you know, after doing it for 17 years and being cold and wanting to be around my beautiful plants uh i said no no thanks not for me anymore <laughs> all right oh you see up uh, that path is up there that was a trouble one that i forgot about not only does it need some agua but it also has a bunch of really nasty leaves that need to be taken down so i'm going to do that just clip these babies off i'm curious to know in the comments because i go through the comments like crazy and every time that you guys comment on uh my, my videos i get a notification right away i try to respond to them really uh fast just because uh i want to be able to have that conversation in real time with you guys but i'm curious to know um since we are in the winter months right now uh how have your plants been doing have you seen a lot of leaves that have like um browned up uh, because of underwatering or because they're drying out too quickly if you have your uh, heat on this winter. And I'm curious to know if you wouldn't mind also putting in the comments, uh, where are you located? Because like I've told you guys plenty of times before um, and during this video, whoop, that I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and we're supposed to get um, some pretty nasty snow overnight. It's supposed to be like five to 10 inches, what they were saying, but who knows? I don't know. I wasn't a meteorologist, so that's that. All right, onward to that pothos. Yeah, because this pothos doesn't look too great either. I'm seeing some blah, dead leaves and all that stuff. And notice how I'm saying it again, like it's the pothos's fault that this happened and it's not mine for not watering it. I need to get over that. <laughs> Before we do that though, I am going to put this cutting of my philodendron billetier up here because in the area that I had it, it wasn't really getting uh, too much great light. So I know that over here they tend to get some pretty darn good um, roots when I have them water propping over there. So we'll give it a shot. Why not? But yeah, I need to water this guy and also this Peperomia ruby cascade, which is so beautiful. These leaves are like three and a half feet long. And when I first got this plant last summer, uh, the summer of 2021, yeah, summer of 2021, um, it was only like a half an inch. So this thing just really took to its name and cascaded. I absolutely love it. It's stunning. Alrighty, it's time for you to drink up, Pothos. Um, I also like how I'm literally Without even explaining it to you guys, I have a, a wine bottle here that I've just been watering my plants for the last couple of minutes. And did you explain that? Um, yes, I like to use a wine bottle uh, because they have that nice, uh, I don't even know what you call it, snout? I don't know. The tip of the bottle, it's really nice for pouring, especially into the back of those Wally Grow planters. They just soak it up. So, um, boy, in terms of this and this, Oh, I need to take these leaves off because they're dead and gross. Because I didn't water it. So sorry, plant. Oh, it'll forgive me. It's a pothos. They bounce back all the time. <laughs> all right, let's do some other stuff. Well, you know, I thought I still had more stuff to do, but the fact of the matter is the only thing I really have to do still is just 
pot up some cuttings that have been uh, water propagating over here up against my couch. But I'm going to say that till the morning because, you know, it's late and I found my way to the couch, which means that I want to ignore the pothos again and the philodendron and not water them, even though I just did. So I can chill out and relax and be lazy. But, nah, I think a plant parent deserves that, right? Hey, I so appreciate you guys watching all my videos. And uh, if you haven't already, please give this a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, just so you can get the latest notifications when I have new content coming out, which comes out weekly, by the way. Uh, and I will get back in the groove of making longer format content for you guys. Uh, I'm just tired because of these plants. Always. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video.